Coach, uh, talk a little bit about uh, the hire of Seth Luttrell as your offensive coordinator. Well, and losing uh, Rod, you know, who was coaching uh, quarterbacks, he and Kevin last year had a, a dual co-capacity. Uh, and uh, as the year went along, um, you know, Rod actually took over the bulk of play calling from the press box as we as we did so. Uh, position open, had some flexibility. One Kevin Johns, having played quarterback, was kind of intrigued and going to throw the quarterback responsibilities his way uh, with the hiring of Seth. I think Seth's background uh, was a player at Oklahoma before I was there. We crossed paths for about a 10-day window when I got hired for the Cotton Bowl when he was a student coach. But his path took him through Kansas with, Kansas with Mark Mangino took him uh, down to Texas Tech with Mike Leach. And of course, that's all the offense that was kind of being run passing wise. I think it fits us from a passing need offensively in a great way. Most recently, he's played uh, running back, coach running back, but most recently doing tight ends. But we'll have some flexibility uh, with this higher and actual position. I'm actually hanging tight. We did lose another coach, Brett, Brett Dearson, uh, resigned the other day, uh, a little bit unexpectedly. But I think he's moving on to some other opportunities. And we'll wait and see as we fill that spot, maybe the exact positions that we move forward. But Kevin Johns will be the quarterback coach, assistant uh, coordinator, and uh, Seth Luttrell will be our offensive coordinator, and we'll see exactly the position in the weeks to come here. Coach, how do you envision uh, the offense changing then uh, with Seth at the head? Well, I don't know if we're going to change as much with the young guys. We made some um, some strides in the run game. I think you know our, our niche and need uh, physically is we got we got to get up to speed in the pass game. And there's some similarities in system from nine years. It wasn't my system. It was kind of things that had fell through Coach Leach to Coach Mangino to Chuck Long and then to me. But there's some similarities in passing thoughts. I think it's a great blend. As we talked to a lot of coaches, I looked at a couple top high school guys, uh, especially within our region. Had a couple guys in the NFL, some former. Quarterbacks that were great quarterback players and coaches were interested, but uh, offensive need, I, I thought improving the pass game, and I thought improving a, in the way that would blend into what I'm used to and mirroring that with what we got going on with our young guys in the run game was, was the right fit. Now, obviously, I guess they call it the short passing game. Or is that kind of, is it accurate, uh, first of all? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say that. I mean, there's always going to be some down the field shots. I mean, if you saw a little bit, um, you know, if you, if, if you look at the top seven teams in, in passing offense NCAA this year, uh, you're looking at Houston, Oklahoma State, Oklahoma, Arizona, uh, Texas Tech, Baylor, West Virginia. Uh, all those ties are branched with Mike Leach. He started at Oklahoma. He was at Kentucky, but started at Oklahoma, went to Tech. Art Browse was at Tech, went to Houston, went to Baylor. Kevin Summon was at Oklahoma, went to Houston, brought in Dana, Dana Holgerson, who went to Oklahoma State, who's at West Virginia. Seth left Tech to go to Arizona. So there's a, there's a niche there that fits, and uh, I think it fits us in a good way. Coach, I know this is uh, the recruiting season. I know you've been out on the road and obviously working very hard in that area. How do you feel about it at this point? I know you can't talk about recruits from the standpoint of names. Yeah, we're down the stretch here, and, and we've got a few, a, a handful of spots that are critical as far as need. We've got a couple positions that at the right guy at the right spot, and then there's a, a couple spots that may be best available player come draft day. You know, hey, this is too good a guy not to take. Right. But there's a couple – key spots down the stretch we need to hit. Um, uh, in losing our two coaches, it is unfortunate. Both were good guys, did a great job. Appreciate them being here and their efforts. But I do think uh, it was recruiting is very stable. So it's a little bit of a bump. I don't think it'll be a major hurdle. And we'll try to move forward in hiring the right coaches, but I also don't think that's affecting recruiting. And we're, we're doing okay. It's still a battle. We didn't have a good year, and we got to fight and overcome that and battle. But I think we're battling and fighting for some guys. And uh, we've got, uh, on paper, a, a large number of commitments like them. We better like them, but we've got a few down the stretch that we need to land and, and, and make it a strong class down the stretch.